Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and this time we're reviewing something that is near and dear to my heart. If you saw the thumbnail, then you already know I'm talking about the first ever Room 6 Rampage March Massacre All Heavy Metal Showcase at new local music venue, Synwave. If you couldn't make it, you missed out. Don't despair though, I've linked the live stream of the event down below. With five amazing and loud bands that I've interviewed on this channel in the past, this one promised to melt faces and blow minds. Warm up those neck muscles and get ready to rock, because we're once again headed downtown. I've never been so excited to say this. To the Room 6 Mobile! This video is brought to you by Dog.com. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. If you're unfamiliar with Synwave, that's understandable. This show was their second ever and was basically a soft open. That being said, they are doing all the right things, and this will be one of the must-play venues when you come to town. With a stage deep enough to hold almost all the gear for five heavy metal bands and a lighting package that creates instant big concert moments, Synwave will eventually have two stages for live music. I've linked to them in the description, so make sure you check out their website for upcoming concerts. You'll be so glad you did. Now then, on to the review! First off, a huge thank you to Sinway for taking a chance on my show. Secondly, a big shout out to everyone that came out and supported the local music scene. You all blew my expectations out of the water and validated what I do here. If you'd like to be featured on Room 6 yourself, hit me up using my email address down in the description or use the Room 6 social media link down there as well. While you're at it, please consider helping me grow the channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. Thanks! Cracking open the seal on the night was the band Headgore. Even though their set was shorter than most, their sound was intense and built off of heavily modified electronics, and their music challenged listeners to pay attention to the message hidden in their guttural lyrics. Mostly focusing on chugging rhythms, but not afraid to change up the tempo, the small but growing crowd appreciated their musical offering. Pariah Was One took the stage next. Immediately commanding the stage and the crowd, this Vegas mainstay successfully blended brutal metal elements with swooping vocal melodies, making great use of time changes and breakdowns to create dynamic tension. They took the torch lit by Headgore and ran with it. Up next was Raya, who were kind enough to be a last minute replacement. Mixing a few covers in with their original music, their set was a little more emo and had everyone wrapped with attention. With soaring vocals floating over thick bass lines and crunchy guitars, they were a nice reset on the night before things got brutal once again. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Today's sponsor spot has a special guest. Meet Chloe. She's a bit of a diva, but we tolerate her, and she tolerates us. But taking care of this little monster can get expensive, which is where Dog.com comes in. Dog.com is your online dog supplies shopping and information destination. Founded in 1969 as the parent company to a wide variety of pet-related websites, Dog.com provides a broad range of competitively priced pet supplies, as well as community forums and partnerships with several national and local rescue and adoption facilities. Just for watching this video today, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your entire order. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Say bye! Thanks to Dog.com for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. She's never this quiet. The fourth act of the night was Short Fuse, whose keyboard player is actually one of the owners of the venue. Yeah, that guy. The one with the baby hanging off his custom keyboard stand. Musicians, man. Making sure everyone left with their faces melted, their sound is pure high energy. From the first note, there was an immediate crowd there to appreciate their great use of breakdowns and sudden stops. If they were the last act of the night, we all would have left happy. But wait, there's more. Taking the torch from all the previous acts and proceeding to burn the place down, Annalita finished out the show. Having just gotten off of another tour, this was actually their first time headlining a hometown show. Setting a blistering pace from the get-go, they managed to cram an incredible amount of sound into a three-piece band. Leaving no doubt they deserved to headline the show, they did a great job capping off this incredible night of local music. Overall, the first ever Room 6 Rampage March Massacre at Synwave 
was a dream come true, and I seriously can't wait for the chance to uh, do another show like it. I hope I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. I really, I cannot, I cannot express just how overwhelmed I am with gratitude at the turnout and just the, the amazingness that was this show. I, I honestly, honestly, I'm floored. You owe it to yourself to drop by Sinway. Definitely hit that link for their website to see all the upcoming shows. Um, you'll be glad you did. And also, check out the live stream. There was a, so much that I just, I can't talk about or we'd be here forever. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click up there, ring the bell. You'll get notified when I do live streams and reviews and interviews. And, of course, it helps me grow the channel. So, thank you. And if you want to hear my own music, which is definitely not metal, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.